Nicholas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. Sugar Ray Leonard's coming down to the ring right now, and he does so with a certain gamesmanship, putting forth that attitude to his opponent, telling him, I'm the man, and I know it. He's now making his way to the ring, and you can see how focused he is for the task at hand. This is a 12-rounder. Here's round number one. Well, there's one fighter here, as we've seen time and time again, that just doesn't have the physicality. He doesn't have the overall strength against his opponent. But what does he have? Well, he has the greatest muscle that the human body has, the brain muscle. Use it. Smart. Give angles. Get out. Keep your opponent off balance. If he's bigger and stronger, he needs a certain kind of set position to use that. Do not give that to him. Sugar Ray Leonard is able to avoid that punch. Blocks that punch. And his eye is starting to swell. better defensively Teddy you can see the damage that his eye has taken the swelling's getting really bad how does he do that how does he shore up that defense well first of all he's got to stop moving that head he's standing too straight up if he gets a little head movement a lot of those punches that are landed they'll start going over the shoulder Sugar Ray showing defense able to block that punch Teddy, we hear a lot of people talking about where are the next great fighters coming from? In your eyes, I mean, you're around gyms all over the country, all over the world. Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? They're not coming from. They're not coming from. Guys, they're going up on the field. Somebody's going to the next way. But now, Collins, with a little bit of deep travel, they're losing a little athlete. One to give one, he comes back with a right hand. There's the head. 
head shot, but he parries it away. Oh, Sugar Ray Leonard spins, stun. Come on, guys, punch it out. Punch it out, go holding. Hey, I thought he was going to be knocked out just moments ago, but he has survived this. Well, he has a granite chin. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. Leonard blocks that punch. You know, everybody associates Sugar Ray Leonard not only with the championships and the Olympic glory, but with the comeback. Coming out of retirement to fight. He had the detached retina, took three years off, and then came back against the marvelous one, Marvin Hagler, in a fight, Teddy, that to this day, people will still argue over who won. Well, Ray won. Yeah, Ray got it. I mean, that's the main thing. You open up the record book, and you're going to see Sugar Ray Leonard as the winner in that fight. But what he really did was he created a scenario. He understood at that point in his life what he could and couldn't do. He couldn't fight for three minutes. So he survived for early parts. He stayed out of damage, out of harm's way, and he stole ends of rounds. Sugar Ray showing defense, able to block that punch. Yeah. A headshot block. He's just not concentrating on the body as a target here, Teddy. No, and you know, you wouldn't mind if he didn't have to. In other words, it all depends on the scenario. This scenario says that he should be going to the body and he should recognize that. And that's part of the talent of a fighter, recognition, that you have to recognize where the opportunities are. Get that head oh! Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Sugar Ray Leonard's just trying to push away. He wants to breathe a little. decide to trade there the end of the round has arrived and now an opportunity for the trainer here to get his hands on his guy his guy just got tagged pretty good there and when he looks into his eyes what is he looking for well first of all he's looking to see whether or not his guy is still there you know he got stunned pretty good and then what he has to do is make sure his guy is listening to him and telling him hey look you got caught you've been caught before this is the way we can fix it this is what you got to do to correct things. So here we are, a new round underway. And in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught. But why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. Teddy, when you have so much success so early in life, it really builds the foundation to be something special. And such is the case with SRL. I mean, he won national Golden Gloves, Pan Am Games, New York Golden Gloves. I mean, he was a, a, a teenager, just dominating. Well, you know what it really does for you? All those things, Joe, really the box to build a really, really special build. Know that be the best because he's already the best of the amateurs, and it gives you confidence. You've been in a situation where you're comfortable in a place that most people don't feel comfortable. Not able to get a headshot. 
Defensive skill. That just missed. Blocks the headshot. Sugar Ray Leonard's proving to be elusive. He's in a tough spot. There's no way around it. The eye is swelling so badly that we could see an end to this fight. Yes, it is, but it's not an impossible spot. It's not a spot where fighters before him have not been in and have not survived and even won it. You look at Colin Basilio when he fought the late, great Sugar Ray Robinson. You know, his eyes were closed. He found a way to win. She gets rid of that body shot. Ten seconds to go in this third round. Sugar Ray showing defense, able to block that punch. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have good motors that never stop going. As this round starts, one question lingers over this fight. Will it end right here? You saw the damage that was done in the last round. Now he has a chance to close the show. Because he won ended. I think sometimes in life, in boxing, anything, it comes down to nothing more complicated than do you want to do it? If he wants to end this, he ends it. Forget about jazz, forget about technique, all that stuff. Does he want to end it? One of the great all-time storybook careers in boxing history, Sugar Ray Leonard. Obviously, turned pro, won a title at a young age, and then had the two fights with hands of stone, Roberto Duran, including the no-mas fight in New Orleans. You know, those fights really made him. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. They made him in two different ways. They made him where he found out that he could be more than a smiling endorsement guy, Sugar Ray Leonard that there was something more substantial, that he could fight with you in the pits, in the dark alleys, that he had that kind of makeup. And everybody else found that out. And also, it helped him with the audience because people don't like a guy who's too privileged. And in this case, he showed that he was also a guy who could go down there and act like a blue collar guy, just act like a fighter. SRL getting rid of that punch. <laughs> Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. A hook for you, and a hook right back. Carries that punch away. Denies his opponent. Comes with the oh, and there you go. The man's in a bad place right now. He was tagged.
of the round is upon us. And if the next round holds up like that, we're going to be in for a real treat. No, we will be because both these guys have the philosophy that their best defense is their offense. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. See, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Teddy, what would you recommend based on what we're seeing here today? Well, two aspen and then go, oh no, actually I would say a little counterpunching would be just what the doctor ordered. That's a better prescription for him. Good job zoning in on that body with the left hook. Even better job bringing the right hand in combination. Great pace to this fight, Teddy. These guys are not coming out of fifth gear. Nobody's slowing down. No, they're fighting a sixth, seventh, and eighth gear. <laughs> Yet another hook to the body. Right there on the side of the face, you can see some blood. Teddy, so much work in the gym goes into head movement and how to hit a moving target. Doesn't matter in this fight tonight. No, this guy doesn't move his head. The old times would say he gets insulted if you miss him. Now there's some blood, but it's underneath the eye. It's on the cheek, so it's not going to impair his vision. What a fight. What a great Great non-stop action fight this has been. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. Dismisses his opponent's headshot. Blocks it away. Sugar Ray Leonard's nose is starting to bleed. The end to another very entertaining round in what has been a very entertaining fight. A fight where there's just bad intentions. The fight that just doesn't have the feel of a fight that's going to be a decision win for somebody. Looks like somebody's going to get stopped. Right from the beginning, they've been fighting with desperation. Like going the decision as you just touched on has not been in their minds at all they are back to action here but that action has only favored one man completely one-sided hard to see the scorecard coming into play here with how dominating he's been Able to dismiss that body shot. Keeping his hand. Oh, Sugar Ray Leonard stunned, and he is hurt. 
I don't know what was said to him in the corner, but now he's the busier. Right, come on, and he come needs on, to be before any out. more time goes by. He was damaged moments yeah. ago, but now he's got his feet back underneath him. Trading hooks. Sugar Ray Leonard's doing good damage with the combination punching. Well, right there is a good example of the benefit of combination punching. You miss the first or the second, the third and the fourth, they land. to cover up along the belt line blocks that one one minute to go in this round neither man has decided to slow down at all oh boy what a round and now we got a fight he fires back a right hand of his own. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. Sugar Ray Leonard's looking for some room, and he found a way to get it. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. And this round comes to an end. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas ringside. I'm just looking up at the corner here at this guy that just got tagged, Teddy, this fighter who just got stunned. And I'm thinking, boy, it's like the air's come out of him a bit. He looks just so dejected now. Yeah, you know, right now he's on the side of a mountain. You know, he's up on a cliff, and he needs a rope to get down. So that's what you got to do, Joe. You don't look and say, hey, he's up on a cliff. We know that. Give him a rope. Give him advice to get down. Don't worry about it. The swelling is nothing. Just for the fight. Six rounds in the books. Six to go. Lands the counter. Sugar Ray Leonard's doing a nice job being comfortable on the outside. Wow, great action right from the start. Hey, I don't know that they can keep up this pace, but if they do, what a night we got ahead of us. Yeah, we're getting tired just watching this early part. Distance such a key factor always, Teddy, when it comes to defense. With his good foot movement, he's been keeping that distance. His opponent, how does he close that gap properly? Well, first of all, he's got to use his jab to close it because he's getting picked off coming in. He's getting pot shotted. So he's got to have something coming at his opponent that keeps him distracted. Use that jab. Now, don't use it conventionally, Joe. You jab it at the head, you're not finding nothing. You're just finding space. So jab a little lower. Drop the sights a little bit. Jab at his chest. Just so you touch something, and then you can work your way in. You can start to find them a little. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. So it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. Gets rid of that effort. Holy cow! He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Well, that's the classic wet noodle foundation right there. He's on wobbly legs. Yeah, and it's not al dente. 
It's really, really wet noodles. Good stuff in the opening two minutes. A minute to go in this round. That worked out really well. Throw it off the right hand after getting tagged like that. He's bleeding from the side of his face there. Sugar Ray showing defense, able to block that punch. That wasn't able to land. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. Don't blame yourself. You will take care of the cuts. There's nothing. A small cut, nothing to worry about. You just focus on the fight. You'll take care of this way. Get on that. Get on that. Another round. Right, guys, That's it's it. It's over. Fight is over. Sugar Ray Leonard, your winner by TKO. The ref has seen it up. Your winner. Sugar Ray Leonard is your winner by TKO. You know, Joe, I like a night where you see a guy tested a little bit. We saw him tested, and he passed that test with 